Collection Sense Test. Hello children, let's meet Rohit. He needs to deliver 50 packets in a day. Each packet has to be delivered on a different address. Now, let's understand how he will locate each address. Rohit uses a navigation app on his phone and looks for the directions. He uses the direction sense to travel to different places. It is important for us to learn about directions to travel to various places in everyday life. It's not possible for anyone to reach the destination without knowing directions. Let's learn about different directions. We will also learn about direction sense test as it forms an important part of reasoning. Let's begin with cardinal directions. There are four main cardinal directions. They are East, West, North, South. There are four more directions called intercardinal directions. These are Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, Southwest as shown here. Let's look at an example to understand direction sense better. Navya walks towards west. She turns 135 degree clockwise direction and then 45 degree in anti-clockwise direction. In which direction does she move? Options are A. East B. North C. South D. West Let's draw a diagram to solve this question. This diagram shows Navya's movement in different directions. When Navya moves from west in clockwise direction at an angle of 135 degree, she finds herself in northeast direction. When she turns 45 degree in anti-clockwise direction, she finds herself in the north direction. So the correct answer is option B, north. After learning about directions, now let's understand how we can find the shortest distance between two points. Look at this figure. Imagine that point A is your house and point C is a grocery store and point B is an ice cream shop. In order to reach a grocery shop from your house, you can use two paths. First, you go to the ice cream shop and then to the grocery store. Second, you can take the path shown directly from your house to the grocery store. Let's draw a diagram to solve this question. When we move from point A, that is house, to point C, that is grocery store, we cover the distance in lesser time and this route is the shortest route. Therefore, this is the shortest distance between points A and C. Now the question that arises here is, how do we find the shortest distance? Let me tell you the answer. To find the shortest distance, we must be familiar with the Pythagoras theorem. According to the Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. The sides of the triangle are named as perpendicular, base and hypotenuse. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Here, AB is perpendicular, BC is base and AC is hypotenuse. Children, let's solve an example that will help us to understand the concept better. Tarun cycles 4 km in the west direction from his house. He takes a right turn and cycles for 3 km. What is the shortest distance from the end point to his house? Options are A. 7 km B. 5 km C. 12 km D. 1 km Let's make a diagram with the given information. Suppose this point C is Tarun's house. From here, he cycles 4 km to the west. We can mark this point as B. From point B, he takes a right turn 
and cycles for 3 km. Let's mark this point as A. As you can see, we have made a right angle triangle here. Now, we can find the shortest distance from the end point to his house by using the Pythagoras theorem as we know the lengths of perpendicular and base. Let's apply the Pythagoras theorem here. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Here, AB is equal to 3 km and BC is equal to 4 km. So let's put their values in the formula. AC square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. AC square is equal to 9 plus 16. AC square is equal to 25. Since 25 is the square of 5, Therefore, AC is 5. So, the shortest distance from the end point to his house is 5 km. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the concept of direction sense. Bye for now. I will see you soon with a new concept to learn.